All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Okay, this is Fiji. I'm in Fiji right now, and that's the sunset. You see that? That's the sunset. Now, can you tell me why there's light over there? Is that a sun? You're telling me that we are having a, a reflection or some crap? No, man. That's the sun, and that's the sun. That's the sunset. Look at that. That's the, our original sun. Hey, man, look at this. Are you, are you aware that we are in end times? Thumbs up. Look, we got two suns. That's the sun and that's the sun. We got two, man. People don't, people are, just don't believe, man. Y'all are going to see Jesus quick. Look at, there's a sun right there. And then there's a sun over here. This is crazy. This is crazy. What the heck is going on? How do you people see the signs of God and then pretend like you don't see the signs of God? How do you see another universe or another planetary system coming into our system and you sit there and you pretend like another planetary system is not coming into our system? I'm, 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 I'm going to pose a challenge to the fearful the fearful who always come to the video saying this is not real here's what God have to say Revelations 21 8 but the fearful shall have their share in the lake of fire the fearful when you come in here because you in sin you gay you carnal you contentious you malicious you disrespectful you murderous you know you you, you habitually carnal and then you, you, you come here fearfully saying that this don't exist. Here's a challenge for you, fearful lake of fire inhabitants. Produce this. You do it. You show me this. And then you close up in on it with your cameras. These are the signs of God. And God turns away. He turned away the wrongdoers from his signs. Even if you saw the signs. Just like you do, you come here and you deny them. You deny what you see. Uh, that's not on me. That's not on nobody in the world except for yourself. And what is that sign? That sign is the return of God. And you know what that sign is. Uh, God said he was bringing a new heaven and a new earth. A new heaven. These are different planets. Oh, That's what we call it. But what does God say? A new heaven and a new earth is going to be brought. And this earth is going to be destroyed. This earth is going to be no more. Look it up. You know. Uh, for the people who don't believe. I I ain't even say I feel sorry for you because I don't. It's like how dumb can you be? You know. Your government believe in a God. 
your government definitely believe in evil. You know, you don't. You know, uh, they impose on all these statutes and everything else that is going to bring down, you know, hell upon your heads. You know, and you don't understand their aim and what they're doing. Come on, you know. So we have a lot of people coming to the videos, uh, expressing their uh, concerns about fear mongering. Show me that. Show me that. Show me. Show, show me fear mongering. You know, here's two. Here's people looking at two suns in the sky. And they're all filming it. Some are swimming it from one way to the next way. Uh, uh, you know, there's one over there. There's one over there. And people are filming it from both directions. And and then here's the thing. Uh, laugh now. Weep later. Laugh now. Weep later. You know. Why are these people filming this? Because it's something that we never saw. And as a matter of fact, it's three suns, you know, three planets, and it may be a sun and planets reflecting off of the sun, who knows, you're gonna let science tell you that it's uh, space dust, you're gonna let science tell you that it's an aurora, it's a reflection when you can clearly visibly see a sun in there, what type of reflections does this, and when, when did the earth start reflecting itself, you know, Anything to soothe the sinner, huh? Anything to soothe you so you can keep on being gay. You can keep on uh, murdering and killing. You can keep on selling drugs and getting money by illegal means. Anything to soothe you. Don't you know that they're patting you on the head, pacifying you, showing these, you these shows, putting you under the spell, letting you listen to all this weird freaky music to soothe you until you burn in the fire it's the whole devil's aim coming to you like a friend and a sincere advisor you know a confidant you know this so you know hey enjoy yourself the government is not your friend they saying it's all all right to be gay they saying it's all right to be transgender you know they trying to do sex change the world has big power and they they sent out some uh, items into space. Uh, um, imagine how big this item would have to be to make the sun do that worldwide. Imagine how big this item would have to be that they sent to space and how much efforts. They haven't even reached the moon yet. You even know what you're looking at? The sun don't shine like a flashlight. These are the signs of God. You know, and most people drive right past this and ignore it. You ignoring the signs of God. And there, there, there is many, many, many more things. But, you know, who, who could tell you anything? The average person is hard to talk to you. You know why? Because if we ain't talking about your vanities, if we ain't talking about your exterior things, most people, you know, uh, the believers, we're eternal, interior uh, the, we're, we're with the spirit of God the disbelievers you guys are exterior uh, with your penis size with your breast size with your ass size you know uh, how much money do you have you know uh, do you look good you know exterior things worthless things to invest in because each thing is worthless so you're going to go to God on the day of judgment and tell him how big your penis is? You know, and, and, and how, how well you did with the ladies fornicating and committing adultery? You know, doing shameful, abominable acts? You're going to go to God and tell him that? You know, does that matter? What, what matters when the earth is shaking? Somebody tell me what matters when the earth is shaking. Somebody tell me what matters when you're in severe pain. What matters when meteors are falling out of the sky? Please tell me what matters when you're seeing meteors fall. What matters when you're in three days of darkness? What matters if the government come and seize you and your family and put you in uh, martial law camps, FEMA camps, you know, concentration camps, death camps? You know, look at the moon. The moon doesn't do this. 
It doesn't do this. Look at the moon. The moon's going to disappear right in the sky. The moon doesn't do this. And they said, oh, the government, they, they put reflectors up in space. And these, re these, these reflectors, they, uh, they, they cause, it's just fake. It's not real. These are optical illusions. And, and the moon's not real. Nothing's real to you fools. You know, the government have no such power. You guys are idiots. Here's a moon and another moon in the sky. You know, what is it going to take for you guys to say, hey, these are the signs of God. This is not normal. You know, you, you watch the average news and you're going to say, ah, hey, people are spotting because too many people have spotted it in the news. Now we have to report about it and it gives you, give you our lies. Uh, see, there's a dot in the sky right there. Uh, the military says they were uh, testing a new weapon and stuff like that and they didn't really mean for people to see this but of course they tested the new weapon right over the city and testing the weapon right over the city we saw this and most people saw this don't be frightened before ever and we living in those days the fish is dropping dead they're floating up you know why and I'll tell you why iron oxide foes and it's coming from that planet and it is wormwood whatever you want to call it the gentile destroyer you know you know how many people have dreams about these two moons that's in the sky you know it was it was like the other day a bald eagle just dropped dead out of the sky for real and that's no lie that's a sign of america's fall to me it was just right there on the road it was a nice beautiful bird it looked healthy as hell dropped dead right out of the sky you know, people are seeing birds drop dead out of the sky. Cows just fall over. Uh, uh, 70,000 deer and antelope die at a time. You know. What is this? Somebody tell me this. You, you can't even explain these things no more. You're seeing these magnificent things that God is showing you. These are the signs of God. What are the signs of God? The signs of God are indicators, fool indicators they don't have to be absolutes the the sinners always look for absolutes these are indicators pointing to a certain thing that is a sign a sign can be an indicator and a sign can be an absolute you know quit looking for the absolute you know just because you don't see it it don't mean that it don't exist you know uh like I said, is it a worldwide conspiracy? Did we all come together just to put this this frightened little old stupid you? Do we even know you? Do we even know you're going to be frightened? You know, or we 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 put these videos together to make asses out of ourselves. That's what we did. And and, and I'm I'm gonna tell you something. Other people say, don't curse, don't do this because you have this kind of lamb image. You know. And it's a false image. It's a false image. The, the, the English language itself is profanity to God. Turn the English language around backwards and, 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 and it is a blasphemy. Turn God around backwards. It's blasphemy. The English language itself is blasphemy. You know, a yes I can backwards is thank you Satan. And if you turn a lot of music back, backwards, it is Satan worship. What does it say about the English lang language? It was it's purposely is a backwards language to, to to hate and defy God. It is. And you think you think find me somewhere where it says don't use profanity because God don't approve of the word F and he don't approve of the word uh, ass or he don't approve of the word uh, quit putting words in God's mouth that ain't there. Who said he don't approve of any word? He used to use whatever it takes to turn your people back to the light out of the darkness. Whatever it takes to, to get the people to wake up. I'm sorry, but you can't talk to people normally today. People don't respect nice, and you know it. You know, you can't be like, Heidi Helga, Christian. Hi, I'm here to tell you about Jesus Christ. Nobody want to hear that. It's almost like, F you, stand up. What are you doing with your stupid freaking life, you 
freaking moron. You know, you got to really get in people's a. Hey, you got to shake people. You got to wake them up. You you ain't gonna wake up somebody like wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, please wake up for God's sake, wake up. You're not. You got to scare the holy crap out of somebody to wake them up today. And then they, when they when, when the holy crap is scared out of them good and thorough. Then they might get up and do something about their pathetic life. You know, they overtaken life by demons. God said in Deut Deuteronomy 28 that the demon becomes the head and you becomes the tail. It will lend to you and you will not lend to it. And all it's going to lend to you is evil. You know, the whole world is legend. The whole world is Nephilim right now. You're not even talking to humans anymore. Everybody I meet, I consider you a Nephilim and, and until it's like the Bible said. You prove, you discern that this spirit is from God. The spirit from God is going to speak God's words. The spirit of the Nephilim is going to speak about the world. What is the world? The outer things. The exterior. Does his teeth look nice? Is he muscular? Is he this? Is he that? Is he gay? Is he straight? That's what the world is. How much money does he make? Uh, is he popular? Does he got a record deal? Is he on TV? You know, is he a doctor? Like these things matter in the kingdom of God. You know, was Jesus a doctor? Was he? You know, he went to a job every day. Or was his job preaching to the, the lost uh, sheep of Israel to get them uh, back on, 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 on the straight path? No, that was his job. Back on the straight path. And I, and I ain't forgetting about what I just said. I said most people that you talk to are demons. That, that when, when God said that the in Deuteronomy 28 that the, 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 the evil one inside of you was going to consume you and overtake you, it did. And it speaks. And, and, and you, you say, oh, this person changed. They used to be a good person. No, that person, the demon is speaking for that person. And the person is unaware that the demon is speaking and suggesting these evil things to you 24-7. Go be sexual. Go smoke some weed. Go do drugs. Go do this. And most people you, you talk to, is, is, is you're talking to demons. You rarely are talking to humans anymore. It is the time of Noah, and you are talking to straight-up demons. The police are demons. Come on, psychotic. Look how they're killing people. The demon completely take over, and these ignorant fools that shoot—they don't care about human life. They are killing kids. They kill. Look at the people that is, 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 is killing, and you know they putting. Look up heck, H E K two ninety three. You know, look that up. They putting human fetuses in the food at McDonald's and everything else. These people are demons and demonic. They putting blood in the water supply. You know, poisons all in your food. This is the society that you living in, you know, and uh, this is what you get because God said He's gonna make you eat your babies. He did as a punishment, and you are eating your babies without even knowing it. Heck, two ninety three. Look it up. What is it? It's it's a it's, it's a, a fetus additive that they use as a flavor noid in McDonald's to make the food taste better. Human being babies, you're killing babies to make your food taste better. You know why the gen the, the the Jew is calling you goyim, and they, they're the ones who promoting that. They want you to eat your own babies. You know, and read the book about uh, typing in Bible and, and and eating of of your own children. Type it in, and you'll find it. And it's a curse that on the people, and all these curses that come upon you. And you people are so used to curses that you made a way out a life out of curses and misery. You know when you have to go to the doctor. When you in pain, when you got problems, when bad things is happening to you, it's because you damn curse. And good and damn curse. Because when you bless all these things that come upon you in Deuteronomy 28, all these blessings that come upon you and overtake you and overtake you. And everything that your hands touch is going to be blessed. When you turn, when you touch your marriage, you cursed it. It went downhill. When you touch the woman, you cursed her, it went downhill. The man, you cursed him, it went downhill. Your children ain't acting right, they curse. They cursing you out. You know, the, the police, the cursed cops is pulling you over and giving you $900 tickets. Come on, and you, and you broke. They stealing from the poor. Come on, look at this. 
wicked country. We, we, we reached the pinnacle. We're at the end. And you people are done. Done. And at the end of the day of the known, where you're going to keep marrying, you're going to keep partying, you're going to keep doing drugs, you're going to keep fornicating, y'all gay, you know, a bunch of devils, you know, that took over the Nephilim, then took over the gen demon seed, then took over. Yeah, the gen demon seed. Either you the seed of God or you the seed of Satan. And that's, that's the truth. It's two species here on earth. The seed of God and the seed of Satan. The seed of God had a spirit of God on them. The seed of Satan uh, missed that. And so they won with the world. They won with Satan's plan and order. And most people are the seed of Satan. They are the Nephilim. They are the Nephilim. Really look it up and read and research. You know, wrap the news. Tell me what y'all think. Peace.